I bought a brand new pair of really bright Speedos and I've moved to uh, Grand Canary. Speedos with bullhorns on the front. Um, no, I moved to Canary Islands because um, my wife's from there. And uh, about a year ago, her mother was really ill with cancer. So I said, let's move there while this is all happening. And she died in there. Um, but I was sitting there in a small room working on Babylon Berlin in Berlin, Sense8 in Chicago and Jungle in Australia, sitting in, in Canary Islands. And then I thought, wait a minute. <laughs> and every day my, I'd get up, go to yoga, go for a swim in the ocean. And I realized actually life can be much nicer <laughs> and it can be more relaxing because LA, I, I mean, it's a tough slug out there. And it's hard to jump into the, you know, I'm not in the, I'm, I, I'm not in that top 10 composers where you make the really big dollars. Um, but I, you know, I did pretty good. And I just thought I, I don't want this pressure of having to come up with so much money. The living costs there are, you know, two, three times more than, than Canary Islands. And I experienced that in Canary Islands and um, realized I can still get jobs. I fly to Berlin, do a recording session, or in three weeks I go to LA to meet the secret project that I'm not allowed to talk about yet. Um, and it's all doable, you know, and much cheaper. And, and I, I guess I'm controlling my life a little bit more and saying, no, certain things I'm not going to do anymore um, just for the money. Mm -hmm. I, wanna, I want more pleasure. And it can be, it, it can be horrible, some of these jobs. Uh, some are wonderful, and, but the best is when you have relationships, like with Tom, where we know each other, and it's really, okay, it's coming up, here we go again, and we know what's, you know, we don't know what the end result's gonna be, but, and same with Wachanskis, you know, if a project comes, it's, it's exciting, and we all get back together, and everybody cares about each other, and when, in, LA, it's corporate world, you know, you're disposable. You can be off somebody, you know, you work well with the director, do a whole score, and this has happened often where I've done a whole score with the director, and the producer comes in, ah, I don't think score's working. Should be a different approach, bang. So three, four months of work out, and you're contracted to do another one. And I just, some of them, I, I, I started hating it, so. And I, don't get me wrong, there's really good stuff happening there. And, but I guess I just wanted more simplicity and, and the opportunity to say no, because I don't need that much money, you know, where I'm living. And my two little kids, I, di I didn't want them to have American accents. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hi, I'm Peter from BehindTheAudio.com. Thanks for watching. For more audio news, subscribe to our channel and check out our website.